In this video, I wanted to show you guys my everyday, really simple, really quick catfish. What do they call? Is that what they call them? A catfish makeup tutorial. Uh, basically, how you can use your natural features and accentuate them with really natural makeup, kind of using the same product all over your face. It's kind of like a no makeup makeup look. Not only was I born like super fat and chubby, but I was born with eyebrows. I was born with bushy ass eyebrows. Like you can imagine a baby comes out of her mother's womb and has eyebrows, like that's absurd. So, nothing has changed throughout the years. I don't really pluck my eyebrows. I don't do much to them. I think we all had a phase and we plucked our eyebrows in the 2000s. You know, as I've gotten older, I've realized like, why do I keep messing with my natural like state? Every single time, two years later, I look back and I'm like, why the hell did I do that? That made me look worse. There truly is nothing more beautiful than a person's kind of just natural, natural-ish. Is this what aging is like? Wow. So the reason I say that is because I have absolutely tried everything when it comes to eyebrow products. This is my favorite eyebrow gel. I can't really live without eyebrow gel. It's kind of like a necessity. It's an essential product like food, water, eyebrow gel. This is the one by Anastasia. It's just a clear eyebrow gel. The thing is, I get really tired of buying these because I buy them probably every single month and then it kind of adds up. And a little birdie told me, and I say that because I literally don't remember who told me this, is just getting an eyebrow brush or just your empty eyebrow gel brush. So I just spray this carefully because the fumes of hairspray are not that great at all. Like they're horrible. And then I brush my eyebrows up. And the hairspray actually holds your eyebrows in place better than eyebrow gel. This is a ride or die product for me. I've been using this for, uh, I don't know, six years or so. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer. Two years ago, they came out with a whole range of different colors because it used to just be this pink color, which is Collagen Active. And this is truly the only lip plumper that plumps my lips without making them feel like they're burning off. It's soft, it's gentle, and it's effective. That sounds like I'm advertising diapers. I do my lips last, so then like by the time I put on lipstick, my lips are like fuller in size. This is a product that I've been using for, again, probably like four years. It's by Glam Glow, and it's called Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. You can see it has a sheen to it. it gives you like a dewy look. In case you're wondering why I'm not using brushes, it's because um, I had my brushes stolen from me. So, um, yeah, I have to use fingers and cotton pads. The next thing I'm doing is using the Yves Saint Laurent All Hours Concealer and I like it quite a lot. It's not really like heavy, it's quite light. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? So I use a lighter color around my eyes and just, I feel like everyone has seen this Kim Kardashian tutorial about how she does her makeup and she basically uses a very light concealer where the light would hit your face and under the eyes because obviously nobody wants bags. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but A, I didn't blend it out properly because I don't have brushes, um, but it is a lot lighter than my actual like skin tone. It, you can tell that I have concealer on. So I'm going to go in with the Dior Skin Forever Undercover Concealer, and this is a little bit darker. So this I use more like a foundation, and I'll blend it in with a moisturizer typically, but I already applied my moisturizer, so. And that's it guys. You ready to go on your date? Fill in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, I'm sorry, but I literally cannot say Anastasia Beverly Hills without thinking of this video. Anastasia Beverly Hills, come to breakfast immediately. I can't find anyone in this house. Anastasia Beverly Hills, I will not ask again, you little bitch. Brow is in the shade taupe. I'm just gonna lightly use like brush stroke. Of course. This video will probably reveal to many people that I don't change my, I don't change my ways. I'm stuck in my ways. Stuck in my ways again. She said I'll pray for you. All this pressure been getting so much. Been getting so much. I just feel like everything changed. Like everything changed. Uh, yeah. Stuck in my ways again. This is an RMS highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter. It goes on buttery smooth, um, and it's called a Living Luminizer. And I obviously just apply this on my cheekbones, typically when I have a mirror in front of me. 
apply this on my nose. A little bit on my cupid's bow. So this is the big transformative steps. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight. Unfortunately, it's just a sculpt. My light fell down. Sadly, the highlight portion fell out, um, so we're just left with sculpting, but that's fine. I just broke my eyeshadow palette. What else? The first thing I do in the morning is I obviously brush my teeth, but after I'm done brushing my teeth, I clean the toothbrush, um, I go in and I exfoliate my lips with a soft bristled toothbrush, and that not only exfoliates my lips, but it actually plumps them up. It causes your blood to circulate faster and it really just plumps up your lips. You know, that's before doing my makeup, and then I do my makeup, I use the lip maximizer. So there's a lot of lip maximizing products in my daily routine. Hence why sometimes I look like I have no lips, and then sometimes it looks like I just did my lips. This is something I just recently purchased, Pat McGrath Labs, and it's a lip pencil in the color Buff. Now, my favorite lip pencil in the world is MAC Lip Liner in Boldly Bare. I've run out of it, and I don't know how to attain it because quarantine. So, this is the one that I purchased on um, Sephora, and what I do with lip liners is basically everything and anything you can imagine. Now, if you press your lips together after you've aligned your lips, you can see that, obviously right now is like a very extreme version, but you can see that the lip liner kind of moves beyond your lip crease. In some places, it does it ever so faintly, so it kind of gives you an effect of voluptuous lips. This right here, it's it's got to go, so obviously I'm gonna you know, correct that with my finger, but I kind of just play around with my lip liner. So that is my secret to looking like you had lip injections, is using a lip liner that looks like your natural lip shade, and then pressing your lips together, and then it kind of, it naturally just creates this crease around your lips. And that's what, you know, Kylie Jenner and celebrities say that they do, but maybe perhaps don't do, but anyway, that is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, sometimes what I'll do to set the lip liner is I'll go over with a really pretty blush. This is the same blush by Tarte in Sensual. And using a powder just sets the lip liner in place. And... So there we have it. If I've done the mistake of applying too much lip liner, what I'll do then is I'll take some from my lips and I'll apply them to my eyelids and my cheeks. And using this monotone, kind of same shade all over your face, I think really looks natural and healthy and glowy and pretty. Since my battery died, I'm gonna have to go back to using the iPhone. So, the party, wait, the, the show doesn't stop, right? Okay, so this is a Tom Ford uh, eyeshadow palette. It is destroyed as hell, because I brought this with me to Burning Man. To be fair, it does have this white shade, and white is absolutely essential to me because it brightens up my eyes. So we're gonna be using some good old cotton. So I just grab the white shade, right? This is white, right? Yeah. And I put it underneath my brow. And what that does is it visually gives the effect of a higher arched brow. And then I also put the white shade right in the whatever this part of the eye is called. That part. Good job, Sonia. And what that does is that visually brightens the eye. You can even take this really and just go underneath your eye like very, very, very lightly. That is given if you're very light toned, like myself. What that does is it A, sets your concealer and it brightens up your eye area vastly. Like if you can't tell, like that just entirely brightened up my eye. Like if you ask me, ow, I got something in my eye. Then I go back into the palette and I grab this brown shade. Now I would do this with a crease brush, but like I said, the theft of the brushes has left me brushless. Let's just pray that this turns out okay. And that is just to give my eye some definition in my crease. 
I have been using this for probably a year and a half. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. So this side is an ink stain and then this is a waterproof pencil. Um, I use the ink stain as a means of getting freckles. Now the reason I do this is because I tend to think freckles look really cute on me. Um, a lot of people think this and Looking back on it, I was watching Vogue's like get ready with me in the bathroom type of series with uh, Candace Swanepoel and she's absolutely like probably my favorite model in the world and she did this. She used some sort of pencil uh, to create freckles and I think that's where I got the idea from. So shout out to Candace Swanepoel. So I'm going to tell you guys how I do this. Stick with something that's similar to your eyebrows. This is my eyebrow shape. As I said in my last video, I did get my face tattooed and I got freckles tattooed like all over my nose and here and here. I'll show you guys a picture of what it looked like the day after I got it done. But because the tattoos are on your face, they fade very quickly because I used a lot of AHA and BHA toners. AHA and BHA toners are basically resurfacing toners. So they'll get rid of dark spots. And the person that did my freckles specifically told me not to use toners. But being the rebel that I am, I did, so they've all faded. <laughs> this is basically what I have returned into using. And I'll just draw some all over my nose. I know it looks crazy right now, but bear with me. What you're gonna do is take your finger before it dries and pat them into your skin. See, I may have been a little bit late on some of them while I was talking, but once you've patted them in, it does not look so fake. Believe me, getting tattooed freckles looks even faker. So you take your pick. I'm gonna take my eyelash curler by Shuyamura and this new, I just keep dropping things, don't I? This new mascara by L'Oreal and it's called Bambi Eye Mascara and it's waterproof. So there's a reason why I love this and it's because it's waterproof. Not to mention it's actually really good, but the reason I love this because my eyelashes goes pretty much straight down. I've had an eyelash perm done probably twice or three times and the last time I got it done was probably in November, uh, November 2019, 18, 20, wait, what? 2019, there we go, sorry. And eventually what happens when you get your eyelashes perm two to three months after you get that done, your eyelashes start going crooked so they start growing in different ways and you wake up in the morning with crooked eyelashes and there is absolutely nothing you can do except for weight it over um, i heard castor oil applying castor oil to your eyelashes and eyebrows every single morning and night really does wonders but i've yet to try that so um, just a tip out there i would personally not recommend getting that done to your eyelashes i don't think it's worth it at all yeah sure you look great for like a week but after that suffering and having really weird looking eyelashes for like three months not cute it's not a look trust me so we're gonna go in and curl the eyelashes the best part about waterproof mascara is yes you can cry and it won't go away um, and also it keeps your lashes curled all day especially if you have pretty straight um, like horse lashes as they call them it'll keep them straight i mean it'll keep them curled all day so and there we have it. one of the final things that i love to do that i think really opens up my eye area is using a liquid eyeliner um i have this clinique one called pretty easy liquid eyeliner pen because i don't line my entire eye because that closes off my eye area and i want to do the opposite i want to open up my eyes so what i do is i will literally just draw a little flick at the end of my eye so it's this tiny little wing so it looks a little something like that and then before i leave the house i will use my favorite perfume this is a brand from Los Angeles that I absolutely adore clothing-wise, but not many people know that they created the best perfume on planet Earth. So this is their, I guess, signature scent. It's a perfume oil. So it's by Ragdoll. It's a perfume oil. It says number 8,400. I'm not sure if that makes a difference, but I just rub this on my neck, on my hands, on my hands together like this. 
and that is my favorite perfume that is my signature scent because Santel 33 has got to go because everyone uses it it's kind of annoying anyway i've discussed that before so i have this very elegant outfit on because it's a day full of meetings um i'm gonna be driving around in my mercedes benz um so this is what my really elegant outfit looks like jokes we're all in quarantine i hope you guys stay in good spirits and I love you all, and I will see you and talk to you very soon. Bye. Someone is banging forks together outside. I don't really know what's happening. I am in Toronto right now, and I just... No, literally, what the f*** are they doing?